There's very few things in this life we actually have any control over. Let me tell you a fact, number one facet of the G mindset. Your life is never going to be worse if you walk through the world believing you are the f***ing man. You wake up and look in the mirror and go, I'm the, I'm a, I'm the f***ing man. I am the man. There's no one on this planet who can do s***. I couldn't do if I put my mind to it. I don't give a f how good you are at piano. If I decide to play piano, I would be better than you at piano. And I believe that. I don't just say these things, I can believe them. And when you go through life believing you really, really are the man, there are very few downsides. The downsides are everyone's going to call you an arrogant, everyone's going to call you arrogant, everyone's going to call you a dickhead, everyone's going to say he has a big ego. You're going to lose a few loser friends. Who cares? What you are going to gain is other people on the same path. You're going to gain other people who think, yeah, well, I'm the f***ing man too, this guy's the man, let's make some money. That's what's going to happen. So the first thing you can do with your dream mindset is you need to start believing you are the f***ing man. Even if you're not the man yet, even before I was world champion, I knew I was going to be the man. We suffer from modern society and all of its problems suffers from the fact that we are plagued by monumental cowardice amongst the male population. All men are cowards. They're cowards. It's, it's, it's literally mind blowing to me. The level of cowardice we're forced to endure. Are the strongest men of history, were they at home changing diapers? Did their wife tell them they weren't allowed out? Because we have a kid and I need help. Or, did it, or was he out there getting shit done? And this is the point. So a lot of the things I say, people may disagree with them. People may say, I don't like the idea of that. Even some women may sit there and go, oh, that's wrong. It's the absolute reality of earth. It's the truth, right? And it's very, very hard to be a man worthy of respect if you're gonna to stick to these femme-centric systems. We're suffering from monumental cowardice on every level. The entire male population from the complete bottom to the absolute top is corrupted by cowardice. There are three keys, I believe, to making money. First one's perspicacity. Most people go through life and they do not pay attention. I've said this before and I want to stick by it because it's so important. You need to pay attention to every single time you spend money because you cannot make money. You're not the Federal Reserve, you're not a government. Governments make money. All of us take money from somebody else or a business or a government. We take money from other things. So the easiest way to learn how to get good at taking money is to pay attention to every time someone takes money from you. So next time you buy a coffee, don't just buy the coffee and drink it and think nothing of it like every brokey. Don't do that. Say, okay. I, why am I buying this coffee? Okay, I want a coffee. Why am I buying here? Well, this is on my way to work. Is there any competition around? Do I also want breakfast? Do they sell breakfast? No, they don't sell breakfast. They could probably make some more money there selling breakfast. Anyway, I walk in, there's a long line. Why is there one member of staff? I'm low on time. I'm about to leave and not buy the coffee. They're about to lose money because it's taking too long. Most of the people in this line are businessmen. Why is there not a cute girl behind the counter? I bet if they paid a cute girl a little bit more, they'd still make a bunch more money because people come in here to talk to her. Think. Well, the best thing to do is to understand the rules of the game and find a way to win. So, yes, the game is rigged. Yes, the richer are always going to get richer. Yes, the poor are always going to struggle. And that's the way the game is set up. So you still need to find the best move on the chessboard. There's no point sitting there saying, I want to play a different game because that's never going to happen. Because the people with the money are the people who have the control and they have the power. And why would they have the game set up any other way? Why would they change it? It's also the basic of economics. I think a lot of people don't understand the true basics of economics. And the basics of economics state that even giving money to the poor, it ends up back in the hands of the rich. There's no way to stop the rich getting richer. I've already explained this before, but I remember when they did the stimulus checks and they passed out all this free money to everyone, a thousand. In England, they gave a lot more money, but in America, everyone got like $1,400 each and everyone was happy about it, saying, oh, he's giving money to the poor. Yeah, but what do those poor people spend that money on? They either, well, Amazon stock tripled because they all went to Amazon. So Jeff, Be well. Jeff Bezos got richer, yeah. right? But the fact is that there's less companies than there are people. All those $1,400 checks amongst all those people at the bottom ended up getting, ended up in the hands of a few companies and the rich got richer and you can't stop it. What should someone think about if they're struggling financially right now or they feel like they're, they've been struggling for many years and it feels like they're just surviving week after week, month after month, they're not sure how to get to that kind of sense of freedom for at least a six month runway or beyond what should they start thinking about you know what you just described i believe the majority of people are living that way well, yeah the majority now that's rather sad but i think it's true and it's because we only have one problem in the whole world and that's ignorance they're living in ignorance they don't know that what they're doing is going to keep them where they are and they keep doing it because they don't know how to change they're overwhelmed with the debt People are saying, I need the money, they haven't got it. They want to take their family on a vacation, they don't have the money to go, so they may borrow and go anyway now. They got more debt. They have to understand that they don't have to live that way. Money is everywhere. Every building is owned. 
These are skyscrapers, bro. Billion, 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 billions. Every apartment nowadays is a million. Million, million. You drive down a street in London, you're driving past trillions of dollars. There's money everywhere. It's all around us. When I was broke, I thought that the world was broke. I thought that there was no money. And then I got rich and realized that I was completely utterly wrong. There's so much money. It's everywhere. If I go to try and buy a plane or a jet, they're always sold out. My yacht is a fucking six year waiting list. I want a Bugatti, they launch it, the email comes to my email address, two minutes later, gone. Like There's so much money. If I want a diamond watch or a million dollar watch or a million dollar Rolex, you can't get this stuff. There is so much money out there. Once you get to a certain echelon, you realize there's money fucking everywhere. So there's plenty of money in the world. People with no money are just not very good at taking it. So you need to start paying attention. It's the first thing. Second thing is network. It's hard to make money if you don't know anybody who has money. Wealthy people don't have one source of income, they have more than one. I was earning money all last night while I was sleeping. You can actually earn more money when you're sleeping than you can spend when you're awake. You know, it sounds like a cute line, but it's true. There's no end to what we can earn. If you are not getting information from someone who is already wealthy, then you're probably getting information from the wrong people. Most people ask their brother-in-law, the guy next door, the girl they know. How to earn more? Hell, if they knew they'd be earning it, they don't know. And most people talk to people that don't know. Carlyle put it very well. He said he did not believe in the collective wisdom of individual ignorance. And that's where most people are getting it from people that don't know any more than themselves. But one of my friends identifies that the war in Ukraine is going to change and the Russian ruble is going to pump. You can make a bunch of money on a forex trade, for example. I may not have noticed, but he'll notice. Now I've made a bunch of million dollars to get a text message, right? Mm -hmm. Because I have friends who are paying attention. All of us are paying attention. So your network is super important. That's another thing. And third, it's to identify the reason why you don't have as much money as you want so far. And there's one of three reasons. You are either lazy, stupid, or arrogant. There's only three reasons anyone is poor. And you have to identify and choose which one it is. The majority of people are not the one they think they are. The majority of people are the one I'm about to say at the end. So let's start with lazy. There are a lot of lazy people. The unfortunate reality about money is that you are competing. So it's player versus player. It's like anything in the world. If you want that beautiful girl, so does everyone else. You have to win the competition. You want that car, you have to get it first. You want that money, everyone wants that money. You have to compete. It's competitive. Business is competitive. If you have a duty to your bloodline and a duty to your ancestors and you truly love your parents, how can you still be saying a home playing video games being a lazy piece of don't you want? People to remember them don't you want? People to think, wow, who's this person who raised this amazing person so that in and of itself it should be endless motivation if anyone's watching. This if you love your parents, you can't be a loser anymore. So anyone who believes in the matrix and believes in media and believes in the lies they're told, anyone who sits there and goes, that's true, that it's literally designed to make you broke. That's why it's all a scam. Do your GCSEs, do your A-levels, get in debt, go to uni, get out, get a shit job, get a mortgage. Don't worry, when you pay that mortgage off when you're 61, then you'll have enough money to go to Spain for holiday. Then your pension comes. Oh, government doesn't have the pension money anymore. Funny enough, hedge fund stole it. Pay half your money in your life in tax. Oops, de doops. <laughs> and then you wake up one day and go, whoa, I just got fucked. So the whole scam, the whole story is a lie because they want you broke. <laughs> they don't want you rich. If you're rich, you won't listen to them. So all of it's a fucking lie. And intrinsically, we all know this. 